I'm Natasha and I want um, a new haircut. It's gonna be something um, to grow to. To grow to, yes. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna make your hair lighter, of yes. course. So we're gonna make a bleach uh, wash on conditioner base. And we're going to make something stunning of it. Yes. Okay, well you turn for you and the rest of the world to show what you have now. Of course. Nice earrings. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube. I'm going to do her hair. And you heard what she wants. So she wants her hairstyle to grow too. So she wants to have a longer side. She wants this side also in a disconnect. And uh, of course I have to respect what she wants. So I make the best of it. First I'll start with protection, as I always do. And I think it's a kinky cape, so I'll put this cape on. <laughs> That's a nice cape. I love it a lot. Let it look. Yeah. It's time by wetting the hair. I don't wash it because I am going to light it up. She wants a lighter color. And that I will do with uh, bleach wash on conditioner base. But that I'll tell you when I'm doing it. I'll show you also how I do that. She used a lot of products in it, but it doesn't matter. That I'll take away. And she wants this side just a small, a small part to be short, yeah. so she wants also this side in the disconnect, so you get the other shape when she lays it over. Yeah, and on the other kant ook. Yeah, the, yeah. the other side the same. So part it. It's wel mooi uit, denk ik. Oh, good. Start on the left side. The first going to take my seat. So. Okay, because it's a disconnect I'm gonna make the sides nice short yeah. mm -hmm. because she wears glasses also nicer to have otherwise they stick out and sometimes they lay upon it and then they lay beneath it set out a nice run for the side beard Was it in the train? Uh, I think the train to the bus too. Okay. But it's too far away. Yeah, the bus can go on the road, for Eindhoven and so. Now I'm going behind the ear. Lift the hair up with my comb and then take it off with the clipper. I do this with a comb because I get more um, natural shapes. My position of working is a bit strange for me, but otherwise I can't make it on a video. Still don't have a cameraman or wife and woman. <laughs> It's always hard to work in strange positions. Put my blades in a coin position, connect it. Make a nice clean line. Clean in between. With a small clipper of oil, I'll clean the contour line, so that's done. Set out the new line. I know that this side will be longer, 
So I take a new line to work on. Of course, this will also be a disconnect line. Work till I get to the parted line. In a common position, I connect it to the line and just clip her off. I just go till I get an area behind the ear and then I part the part that will be longer afterwards but the underlines of course are short. Clean the line I just cut. Wel mooi hoor, zo'n uh, mooi strak lijntje. Ja, precies. Dat is super, super gaaf. Coming at the part where the sides will be longer afterwards, when it is total disconnect. Like. Yeah, more like that. Mm -hmm. eh? Talk about the sound of the clipper. The sides will be in the natural color afterwards. Using my clipper as a comb but holding it in a position of 50 degrees so it leans on this side and it stays out of the longer hair so get a nice connection to the longer hair clean the blades in between the same on the front Make a nice connection to the longer hair and clean the facial lines. With my small clipper I clean the contour again. Get rid of some lost facial hairs. And for so far the underline of this haircut so now we're going to make the grow on hairstyle on it. Okay, parted me a small part of this line, knowing that it has to grow to the line 
on the other side. So I just have to control the line. This I do in the line of um, parting because I parted in the line and that is also the line I want to grow back to the hair. You gently take off some small parts, not too much. Take a new line on it. And there you see that it already connects. Just minor parts that come, have to come off. And the upper hair I will do with the hot scissor. But then it grows uh, even faster than it does because this hairstyle is only two months old and it's still already a long hairstyle. A longer hairstyle. <laughs> I think a lot of you who are watching this video think, oh my god, this is short. But yeah, we did even shorter. Also on the longer side, I parted the hair and because I can't cut the first line with a hot scissor because then I would hurt her skin, I make here also a nice straight line. In. You see that this line is already a lot longer than the other side. Connected from the front to the back. Just take off minor parts. And only this line is cut with a normal scissor. When this line is ready, I can connect all the other li lines with a hot scissor. The hot scissor is uh, of Jaguar. I take the hair up. Take only the ends off. This scissor is 150 degrees. It seals the ends so they can grow back for four months. But that long time I don't take with her as a model. <laughs> Just part it every time about a centimeter and connect it to the line I cut on the side so there will be a flowing connection and not a disconnect on the upper hair the nice thing about the uh, hot scissor is that it makes there also more sexy to touch because it's a lot softer than normal cutting that's because the ends are sealed The front will also grow and makes it easier in the summertime to lay the hair beside. Connect it to the side. Gevraagd had. Wat dan? <laughs> niet zo hard te teutelen. <laughs> God, die draait er stem van allemaal, die hoor je overal bovenuit. En dan staat hij niet eens meer bij de deur. Dan staat hij ja, niet eens bij stil. Nee, precies. Take there, so from the side, in a straight line, and connect them to the baseline of cutting. The thicking you hear is the wire of the hot scissor. Connecting all the layers to the line of cutting. For that long I can do. Okay, we're back. Uh, make the bleach wash. 
before I do this, I, you have always uh, combs that have teeth uh, that are getting lost, lost or getting out. And when you put take other teeth out of the comb, you can make a highlight comb. That works very easy, so you don't have to throw it away. That's what I do mostly with old combs. Now I take a new one. I made uh, a bleach wash on conditioner base, one part bleach, one part uh, 6%, one part conditioner. I mostly take uh, for this kind of uh, recoloring Goldwell bleach because I love this the most and it works very good on colors so that's why I use mostly Goldwell on this. It makes the product ultra creamy because deep conditioner does this. It works very easy, you don't smell anything of it. It holds the best condition on the hair and it's very easy to apply. That's normally when you put the conditioner in, the product gets more smoothy and works a lot easier. Try to work as fast as I can because that's the best for taking out colors. Stay away from the short sides. Just take the longer hairs on it. Work all the hair to the center and then from the center I work to the other side again. Check the short sides. From the bleach, I put a carton wig on it. It works a lot easier than a foil. Just take it out and lay a protection on the short side. Now go to the center. Take the hair up. Now comb the wig from the front to the back. So don't lay the hair back on the short part. I just Work on the center line. <laughs> and also here I work till I get to the short side. We'll secure it with a carton wig, then I'll put my foil on it and wait till I get to a stage where I think it's good color to work on. In summertime we go to lighter colors. Lighter colors are even better when you go into the sun. Because dark colors are eaten away by sunlight. So in summer you can be, be better in a light color. It makes life a lot easier. <laughs> Just lay on the beach. It doesn't worry about the colors of your hair. Now all the product is on, you see that I put cotton wigs on the sides, you see already that the color is lighting up, it is, uh, so the hardness of the dark color, the red, is already getting out of the hair. Now I close my plastic foil, I love plastic foil, so I love to work with it. I don't need heat on it and I'll tell you afterwards how long it took to get to the shade where you see it in. Hello, we're back. Uh, it took uh, 20 minutes. There's no damage on the hair at all. You see that the outgrow is even in a light color. So all the hair is in wonderful condition still. So what we decided is we're going to make it in a wonderful trendy copper tone. And leave the underlines again in natural colors. So the same way I brought on the uh, bleach wash on conditioner base. I'm going to work in a color. I will use a Lacme color. It's the 749. And it's the most stunning copper tone I know in the business. I'll uh, color it with 3% because we want to get into the lighter shades even more after a time. So next time she will be even blonder. And bring this the same way on the hair. Also in this I put a deep conditioner, this time from Rover. They have a special conditioner to put into the color. I love it a lot. 
So I bring all the color on. Okay, now I have the color on and because we decided to make a tattoo art in, in it, I'm going to part the hair that has been colored with a carton wig again. And then I'll make the tattoo art in. So this has to stay on for 25 minutes, the color. So I cover up the color with the carton wig. And then I'm going to create a small tattoo art in. And that I can do it at the same time so it takes less time to wait. Because I do this between my work. I have a busy uh, moment in my life, this moment. I have a lot to do. Tonight I'm going to work till uh, 12 in the night. So I'm working then about uh, 50, 16 hours. So now I'm going to create some tattoo art. Now she don't want a, a heavy tattoo art, but it's also not possible because it's, it's just in the, in the short hair. So I'm going to create some small tattoo art. It's the first time she has this. So you don't know what she wants after this. Maybe more. Maybe. Maybe. Nice thing is that you can cover it up with the disconnect. Just playing with lines. And the nice thing about tattoo art is it grows back in a week and then you don't see it anymore. So it's just for a week. A wonderful line into your hairstyle. the lines ultra small I think I'll just do this side not the other side I think this will be enough for the first tattoo art With my special tattoo clipper, I made the lines even sharper. This you don't pull deep on the skin because then it's hurting the skin. The blades are just that sharp. You just gently lay it on the hair and remove that what you want to remove. For tattoo art is the best clipper there is. Now my tattoo art is on her head, so this I close up, so I can get some heat into the hair. The deep conditioners can do the work better when there is a little bit heat in it. So now I just have to wait for about uh, 50 minutes and then we're back to show you the end result. And I'm going to style it in curls, so let's see even a different way. 
Okay, uh, we're back from coloring. So now I just uh, want to get some curls in it. So I will do that with uh, uh, water wave uh, curls. So first I need some uh, product to get some volume in. Use a foam of Lac May. <laughs> and I can smell it because it's a wonderful foam. It smells wonderful like springtime. It's a real bright, sunny, shiny feeling in this uh, foam. Not too much, because I don't need too much. And I will roll in some rollers to get a classic but still trendy effect. I'm not going to bother you with all the rollers I put in. I just put in one. <laughs> see what I, yeah, that's enough. And then the rest you will certainly see afterwards. Now I cover it up so all the rollers stay on place. This I'm going to dry on an automatic uh, position of a dryer. The short, shortest hair side so you can get into the line. And we we back to show you the end result of this. Okay, we're back. Um, we put it on the automatic, so it just takes the time it needs. But I'm certain the rollers are dry. Take take the pins and rollers out. And I don't work it out like grandma. Just work it out with a nice wax, so it will have. Trendy feeling. I'm not only using a wax, a little bit oil in it, so I get more of a freedom in movement. This is a uh, strength. It's a wonderful serum. I mix this together. And the wonderful thing about the wax is that it brings out the colors even more. And it adds some, some roughness into the hair. For the sides to take a little bit more just straight wax. Only to create some more strongness into the short lines. Bring out the tattoo out a bit. And now with a wonderful hairspray of Lac May, a heart, I work it out. Holding the, all the structure there is. So I'll start your heel. Ben benieuwd. Yeah. Je hebt wel veel werk aan me gehad. Ah, ik schat ik over jou, dus dat maakt helemaal niks uit. Ik vind het leuk. Ik vind de knutsel ook leuk. Daarom. En dan heb ik ook weer even ontspanning gehad. Ja, zeker. Je kunt niks anders. Je moet nee, ontspannen. Ontspannen, ontspannen. <laughs> daarom. Ja, ik had gisteren een tentamen van uh, s ochtends tot uh, middags. Ja. Laat, dus uh, is zoiets als dit wel even fijn? Lekker, ja, absoluut. Now with a towel I take off uh, all the small hairs. I think for the total picture she puts on a jacket and a new glasses. She has wonderful new glasses. Okay my love, will you show your hairstyle, new hairstyle, tattoo art and color to the world? Yes. And thank you very much for modeling again. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>